I'm Michael Duffy of Time Magazine, and I'm here today interviewing former Secretary of the Treasury Hank Paulson about his new book, On the Brink. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Secretary. Michael, good to be here. Um, do you think the bank bailout uh, is working? I believe it is working uh, very well. R remember, the purpose was to stabilize the financial system and prevent a collapse. And I believe that if the financial system had collapsed, we would have had economic Armageddon in this country. Uh, looking back on it, what do you think was your greatest strength that you brought to that crisis? And, and what was your greatest weakness, if that's a, something you can boil down? I would think my greatest strength is a decisiveness. I had a career where I, I was used to managing and making decisions, and I could make tough decisions quickly. I think my biggest weakness was my public speaking skills. I never was able to uh, let the American people know that this was not about the banks, but it was about Main Street and how a f collapse of the financial system would uh, would be devastating to Main Street. I, I had trouble with that communication. When everything seemed like it was going to fall apart at the beginning of the uh, of the financial crisis, what is the day or the moment uh, that you remember most and why? Obviously, Sunday, the 14th of September, when we realized that despite everything we tried, we didn't have the authorities to uh, to prevent the failure of Lehman Brothers. What's the best approach, if there is one, to resolve the too-big-to-fail issue? If I could boil it down to one recommendation, it is we need strong resolution authority so that any failing financial institution it can, it can be liquidated and done so in a way which it does not damage the, the financial system overall or the U.S. economy. If you had to pick one or two things that you think it's really important for Congress to act on now. We need a systemic risk regulator that has access to all of the information necessary to monitor the markets and then intervene with any type of uh, financial institution to restrain any type of behavior that poses a big risk to the system. Uh, why are so many government officials from Goldman Sachs? When I looked to bring people in uh, to wor work with me in, in the crisis, I was looking for people that had the skills and the experience to do the job and were people who were willing to do the job. And um, I came from an environment, and I was fortunate to work in a firm where there was an environment where government service was stretched, was stressed as as a virtue. Do you believe that the Glass-Steagall Act should be reenacted? I don't think we can go back to the 1930s. The markets have changed a lot since then, but our regulatory structure hadn't changed adequately since the 1930s. It hadn't been updated. Uh, it it dramatically, it needs just a drastic overhaul. Last question, and it comes from uh, Mark Morsi of Copenhagen, Denmark. Do you believe, he asks, uh, global financial regulation will ever be a reality? As long as we have nation states, I think there's going to be uh, different approaches to regulation in different countries, and I don't see that as being, as being problematic as long as we have good global architecture and uh, coordination.